So binary numbers are one of those things that everyone has seen, and we know the computers use them and all that. We know that there are a bunch of ones and zeros, but a lot of people find them really confusing. And I think that's too bad because they're really very simple to understand. So in this video, we'll real quickly show you exactly how binary numbers work, just through some simple examples. Okay, so binary is what we call a base two system. And all the base two means, it means two things. One is that you have two choices for everything. Everything is a zero or a one. Second is that each of the places is a power of two. So for example, here I've got two to the zero, two to the one, two squared, as high up as you want to go. Now I don't want you to have to keep computing two to the fifth in your head over and over again, so I went ahead and wrote beneath what those are, right? Two to the zero is one, two to the one is two, and all the way up. Okay, so let's go ahead and just try an example. Let's say I have the number 30, and I want to write that in binary. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to work from left to right. All I do is I see, okay, how many 32s are there in 30? Well, none, right? Because 30 is smaller than 32. Okay, well, let's go to the next one. 16, how many 16s are there in 30? Well, there is a 16 in 30. So if I take 30 and I subtract 16, now I'm left with 14. Okay, let's keep going. So how many 8s are there in 14? Again, there's 1. Okay, so again, I had a 14, I just used up 8. 14 minus 8 is 6, all right? So how many 4s are there in 6? Again, there's 1, great. So I had 6, I used up 4, that leaves me with 2. How many 2s are there in 2? Well, of course, there's 1. And now I've used up everything, right? I'm down to 0, so there's certainly no 1s in 0. So that's it. I just wrote 30 in binary. So one final thing to notice, if I was going to rewrite my final answer, I probably wouldn't leave it like this. Probably what I would write in binary is the exact same thing, but I would leave off that zero in front. And the reason it's really simple, it's just like for 30, you would never write the number 030. You know zeros in front are kind of useless. You could put as many as you want. It's kind of dumb. So any of the zeros in front, we tend to just throw those away. Okay, so let's go ahead and try another example. Let's go ahead and do 41. Okay, same thing. So I take 41, there is a 32 in 41, there's one of them. So if I take 41 and I subtract off 32, that leaves me with nine. How many 16s are a nine? None. How many eights are a nine? There's one of them. Nine minus eight, I'm just left with one. So there's no fours, no twos, just a single one left. And there we go. I wrote 41 in binary. It's 101001. Okay, so so far we've been taking a number, what we would call a base 10 number, and we've been writing in binary. Let's go ahead and do it backwards. Let's take a binary number and write it as a normal number, as a base 10 number. So I'll just go ahead and make some stuff up here. Let's do 110001, say. Okay, so what is this? So I like to work from left to right. You don't really have to. So this means I have 132. I also have one 16, no eights, no fours, no twos, but I've got a one. So let's just do that. What is 32 plus 16 plus one? That is 49. And there we go. One, one, zero, 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 one in binary is 49. And here I went from two to the zero up to two to the fifth. There's no reason you need to stop at two to the fifth. You can go as high or as low as you want to go. So that's binary numbers. Hope that makes sense. If you're unclear about something, please leave me a comment below. I'll be sure to help you out and get right to it. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one.